One Circuit Mailbag, coming to you live from downtown Tasmania. One Circuit, where liking and subscribing is pretty rare. Ah, drop shipping, the packet of packets. i be a bit careful opening this one. What have we got? Suitably de-identified, maybe. Uh, let's do this one at a time. So we have got parcels within parcels within parcels. Oh, all right. Just some little wires. So I use these a fair bit in constructing little lights that I build, um, just connecting up bits and pieces. Do I have an example of that? Not close by. Uh, I'll try and take a picture and overlay on there, or maybe from a, a screenshot from a previous video. But yeah, when you see me soldering away, um, these little ones are, are, are pretty good, pretty cheap and cheerful. I like the black for ground and the um, uh, the red for VCC. Just putting them over the top of my grid down the bottom here. We it looks like six centimeters. Now you can get them in all different lengths. And uh, early on, I used to, you know, cut and tin my own, and that was fun. But this is probably, well, it's certainly more efficient, and I would say probably even uh, as cheap, if not cheaper, to get them pre-cut and pre-tinned if you're going to use a lot of them. So, yeah, some nice little wires there. Next burnt guy. Try this in. A lot of packing inside, a lot of packing. There you go. And unraveling and unraveling. This stuff, by the way, I keep this because in the bottom of the jars, which becomes the top of the jars that I use for the candle project, this is a great diffuser of light, you know. Um, yeah, I didn't discover that. I used to do all sorts of things, you know, hot glue and uh, weird other bits. But this stuff here is a great diffuser. So if you are doing projects with light and you want to diffuse them, that's, that's your stuff. <laughs> Put that away somewhere safe or I won't find it again. And what have we got here? Little solar. Whenever I look, I have these in my cart nearly all the time. There's a little trick with... AliExpress, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but what, what you do, if you load up your cart and then you just leave it as if you're disinterested, um, often over time, uh, people uh, who are selling or I don't know how the algorithm works, it sort of works out that you uh, have had this in your cart for a while. It'll have a couple of reminders, you know, did you know you had this in the cart? You know, do you know what's going on in your life? And then the price will reduce. And maybe it's not much, maybe it's 5%, maybe it's 10%. I've had up to 40% though. And it says, come on, buy it. Um, and so I inevitably have 10 of these. Uh, they are 2 volt. Um, what have we got? They are 4, oh, you know, 50 by 50 millimeter, it looks like on here. They're 100 and I think they're normally rated at 160 milliamps. Beautiful little um, solar panels for the little projects like the candle project. And, um, yeah, they're always in my cart uh, from time to time, AliExpress, uh, all, this, all the sellers send me a message, hey, you've got that in your cart, do you realise it's 15% off? And I go, uh, yeah, thanks very much, and I grab it 10. So, yeah, these often crop up. Little uh, little trick, uh, doesn't always work, but uh, keep stuff in your cart for a while and, uh, and just watch the specials come in on that. And also, if you follow, if you just scroll down, they'll often have the same product but cheaper knowing that you've got it in your cart. So uh, encourage some competitiveness, I think, works for me. One burnt guy left. Let's see what's in there. One burnt guy from the drop shipping. And uh, suitably protected. I love that. Excellent packing. Used to be back in the old days. <laughs> Look at that more solar panels. Ooh, oh, okay. That must have been a late night. Um, yeah, I was about to say that uh, some things used to turn up. By the way, this bubble wrap here too, also a good diffuser of light and provides some interesting patterns. Uh, not natural patterns like you get from an actual candle or whatever you're using, but just to throw things out in a nice 
uh, geometric way. So this is, I also keep this stuff these days. And of course, if you're repacking, um, that's nice as well. Yeah, look, same dealio with, um, with these guys. Probably come in from a different seller. And um, I was about to say, though, that uh, back in the early days, and I'm going back to first forays with, um, with AliExpress, maybe 2016, 17, 18, around that time, these things used to turn up not packed at all, basically just thrown into an envelope. And, um, yeah, with some of the uh, electronic modules, equipment or whatever, I mean, the classic one that I remember is getting modules where the... Uh, the legs of everything was bent or broken, so your capacitors were, were over, your resistors were all at a weird angle, and that's because they'd been subjected to some interesting forces along the way. But I do find these days that packing has, uh, the quality of packing, the amount of packing has increased considerably, so most things arrive um, pretty good. So, yeah, uh, same dealio with this. This is 50 by 50, 160 milliamps, 2 volts. Good stuff, and I've just dropped it, but... Here it is recovered. Uh, yep, so <laughs> that's it. All right. Ooh, we've got two packets in here. Yeah, two packets. One of which will need so one of which will need a little bit of action from the gas de-identifier. And yep, that looks good. So there we go. Instant burning. All right, let's start with this one. What have we got? Nothing. That's disappointing. An empty packet. No, we have microphones, speakers, buzzers. Hmm. I want to say. Maybe speakers? I'm not really sure. Uh, let's apply some electricity to it and see what happens. Not microphones, not buzzers, little tiny vibration motors. So if I just give it three volts, there it goes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. But why, but why? Uh, well, because there's a project, a bit of a long-term project, one which I really like to get my teeth into, but, you know, my spare time is measured in photons at the moment, so um, very small amounts of time I've got. And this is a biggish project. It's about making a teddy bear that my grandchildren can uh, hug, and then the uh, we've got a, uh, we would have a bear that's, you know, similar. And uh, it's all done through ESP32s. And when you hug it, it uh, vibrates. And then, then when you hug back, the other one vibrates. So it's about having people in your life who are, um, you know, they're separated by distance and uh, kids in this case in particular. And this is one way of, um, yeah, just hugging them virtually. Thanks to Zyla Fox one for, I'm just, it's Zyla. And Becky, I think is the other, Becky Stern. Uh, I'll, I'll put up a, a graphic to show it to you, though. But uh, Zyla and Becky put this one together a while ago. It's been revamped. I want to do a little bit more revamping. I've got a couple of ideas about that. We've seen some of the um, – let's put that on again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, we've seen some of the components of that roll in uh, over the last few months. It's just time, just getting the time to do it. And, um, yeah, great project, though. All right. And this one is, huh, modules, two modules, two unrecognisable modules. Hmm. So it says lots of letters and numbers on the back, VCC, ground M. CLK clock D and D out and SCLK hmm. and then some sort of measuring device on the back C J M C U and what is that is it that's not an inductor I'm guessing it's probably a capacitor 
Not sure. Let's get way close anyway and have a look at them. Barometer. It's a barometer measuring air pressure. There's the sensor there. Um, there's all your ins and outs. And it's part of the bear project, believe it or not. So when you squeeze the bear uh, to indicate a hug, it, it is picked up. So a piece of tubing comes out of here. This will be inside a bag, I think. So maybe we don't need the tubing. That's what I'm playing with. The original one had tubing coming out of here. It picks up an air pressure change when you squeeze because there was a bottle in there. I was thinking about putting everything inside a bag and resealing it so that when you squeeze the bag actually, uh, the air pressure inside the bag increases and this should pick it up. So yeah, it is an air pressure module, part of the of the Hugging Bear project. Uh, nice little device. If it works, it'll be sensational. Okie dokie. Oh, something's falling out the other side. That's unacceptable. All right, so we've got a big amount of packing and... I can actually see them just pull them out the side. Here we go. Lots of little potentiometers. Lots of little potentiometers. Uh, always looking to restock because I use a fair bit of those. It's central to the candle project um, because the the amount of light coming out can be regulated using one of these. Uh, I can't recall what the resistance was on this one. So let's have a wee look. It says 202, um, so I'm guessing that it is 2K. Um, where's my little tester? The much abused tester might be able to help me out here. If I bend that guy up, there we go, and put it in here. Yeah, that should work maybe. Okay, and then we can probably test it. More or less on the fly, let's see, here we go. So we've got, it'll probably be about halfway on 1K. That's, they normally ship them halfway. Yeah, there you go, so that's 1,071 ohms. Uh, we'll turn it one way and it'll go down or up, um, depending on which legs I've chosen. So that's 85 ohms, nice. And uh, we'll max it out on the other side. And it should be around 2K, I guess. Yeah. There you go, 2,079 ohms. Perfect. Uh, so, yeah, nice little pots um, as advertised. Can't ask much better than that, really. That is the mailbag for the week, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.